another beautiful day in the greatest state in the Union, Florida. No debate on that. Fun project today on our golf cart. You see I got a nasty shirt on. We're going to be installing the hydro watering system onto our Trojan uh, 42 volt system. We got six 8 volt batteries. And it's a nice system. Um, if you have a lead acid battery, typically deep cycle are like this. You know, not a sealed battery like my, which may be in your car, but a lead acid deep cycle battery for like a golf cart <laughs> or a boat or jet skis. I've done jet ski videos and boat videos or an RV. They require water added to the system for maintenance. Um, there's these lead plates that sit inside the cells and they need to be submerged in water to allow the chemical process of the battery to happen properly and to allow the battery to cool properly. The water helps keep it cool, so stop overheating. Uh, doing this on a regular basis, especially if you have a, a lot of usage on your battery and just typical water evaporation, especially like a hot weather like Florida, you're gonna to need to add it um, maybe weekly, maybe the other week, but you're, you're adding distilled water pretty frequently to your batteries to keep it um, properly maintained. That can be a process. So this system I'm going to install allows you to add water at one point and it prevents you from overfilling. You can't overfill with this system, so it's kind of nice. So let's get started. A couple symptoms, your batteries are not um, proper. There's something wrong with your batteries in a golf cart. One, you'll notice a loss of power. That's when things are bad. <laughs> uh, it might, might not go as fast. A couple things you might notice is the charger. Uh, a 48 volt system should charge to about 52, 54 volts on a full charge. Ideally 52, 54 is the, like the, the float charge. It might go to 58 if you have a fast charging system as it, as it charges the batteries quickly, but right around 54 volts. Um, you, when you are going uphill or are trying to accelerate under load, you might get a jerkiness out of it. You might get some difficulty as it tries to pump through. So um, maintain your batteries. They're expensive. Twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 for a decent set of golf cart batteries. They should last you up to five years. Uh, t good maintenance will maybe even push that a little bit farther, but nothing lasts, like, as far as batteries go, nothing lasts forever. Uh, let, if you want something to last 10 years, you need a lithium battery, which are getting cheap now anyway. Work around batteries today and lead acid batteries. And lead acid batteries, as the name implies, has acid in them. So work in gloves. Um, in case you weren't aware, lead acid batteries, especially deep cycle lead acid batteries, which you're using golf carts, you might use them in RVs or boats, especially recreational vehicles as a whole. Lead acid batteries need distilled water added to the battery cells on occasion. Evaporation happens. Uh, if you ever notice a drop in performance, it's, it, the first thing I'll check is the water levels. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure, one, battery is fully charged, 51.6. A little bit lower than I would want, so that's why I'm checking the water here. You should check it every couple weeks or so. 52 is ideal for a 48 volt system, but 51.6 is not bad, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to take off these covers here, little covers, check the water levels. It has to be distilled water. It's got to be distilled. If you don't use distilled water, you might get impurities in your batteries and cause problems. And I'm going to use this to help slowly add the water up to the fill line. And then once it's fully filled, I'll go into installing this system. Just towel off. The first battery we're going to work on. We're going to unplug the system, plug it, put it into tow mode, make sure it's turned off. You don't want to arc the batteries here. See how it says push, these are pull off, pop off, and these need some water for sure. All right, so what we're going to do add the water in a controlled way. Let's see if it's going to fill this thing up. I got this little guy to add my distilled water to my battery slowly. It's 
Some batteries have a fill line. Some will say like, just make sure the metal is covered. If you don't have a fill line, that's what you want to do. Covers pull and push off. These are the same. So I'm going to orient it so the words match. Be careful, there's like this meter tells you how deep the water is. Make sure that does not break as you're putting it in. And just push until it snaps into place. Cool. All right, so this was the old one. That's the new one. We'll do the same thing to the other five. Now for our last one, we're going to put it this way. The body weight. That's all she needs. All right, so next thing, we're going to cap off the parts we're not using. So like, we're not going to use this guy. Turn him in, I don't know. We'll see. It stops here. There. Okay. Now we've got this rubber hose. This one is the filling one. So you don't have to worry about using this one yet. So got to here. I might make him shorter though, but that's the one you use to fill. And they give you a length to work between the pieces. So what we're going to do, let me get my cutter. This is pretty easy. I'm going to put one right here. And then I'm going to take my cutter. That one's going to go right where I marked right there. And then this will go right into there like that. There. Now let's do it again. There we go. Water will flow right through that. So now. on here we'll do a quick leak test it's, it's got like a stopper on it so it doesn't backwash on you you see the system comes with a handy dandy pump so what we're gonna do is we got some water all we're gonna do is put this in the water all right, so we got this in the water. I'm going to connect this to here. And then I can pump water into the system. And I can monitor the flow rate this way. And I'm just doing nice, nice and slow. Making sure it doesn't leak. So 
let me show you how this is looking as they fill. So you can see the first one's light is not white. There's the white one. That one's filled. That one's filled. So it's working its way around, filling them up. I can't see that one. So really all that's left is the far one here. Once they're all not white, we should be good to go. Salt flicker. Cool. So they're all solid. Use that about all the water. Nice. I dropped it. All right. So we'll take this out of here. Take this off of there. Recap this. And then we'll charge it. All right. Our charger has the low, the slow, low beep. That means it's more than 80%. It's, it's getting close. To, it'll start in solid rate when it's 100%. Uh, and we'll see slowly going back down to 48 rated. This is where you want it. Uh, 50, 52, 54, something in that range. It's looking good. We'll go back in here. You can see the water I spilled mostly evaporated off already. We went for it, it's hot. Um, but these batteries, they show brown. They show, they show like the dark color there. Which is, that one's a little bit. So maybe we can add a little bit to this one and see if it's not as dark as say that one is. If I'm using a little bit of water, maybe a little bit there. But we're gonna take it for a little ride and we had some uh problems with the battery let's see how fast it accelerates with a fully topped off battery system all right let's figure out for a little test drive so before i topped off the water levels in the battery and installed the hydro system under full acceleration of just me it would drop down to 43 maybe the 42 volt range and that was signal of a low battery 42 is the minimum but the higher that voltage goes, the faster it'll go. Now, this is a nice golf cart. It's got a, uh, a plug quick uh, motor on it, so it's very, very fast. And you'll see, I'm going about 30 miles per hour. My next video, <laughs> I'm putting a foot on this. I wonder exactly how fast I'm going. But I'm going about 30. And you'll see, even at 30, it's getting 45 to 46 volts instead of 42 to 43. And that's what you want. Uh, 48 volt is the type of battery. A full charge will be above that. The usage will be below that. So, being 45, excellent. I'm not getting any stuttering. I'm not getting any power loss. Uh, fortunately, I'm in Florida, so not many hills. But there is some stop and go traffic around here I have to uh, contend with. <laughs> and the stop signs, you want to be able to accelerate pretty quickly through that stop sign. You don't want to have to. We were having some difficulties on it. There's literally one stop sign that had a hill. Like the bunch of Florida gets a hill. So. so I'm just cruising down to the end of the street here where we can see the ocean, the actual Gulf of Mexico. You guys will do that real quick as part of this video. Look at that. Took that turn, no hesitation. And that's what we're having the biggest problems with. We would slow down on a turn, floor it. And it didn't like being floored. It had problem acceleration. No problems at all. Batteries are working perfectly now. Everything looks green, green, green. Still in the 45 volt range. So, back. So this is what you want. This is how a golf cart is supposed to go. Not the herky jerky we were getting through the absent battery problems. So, if you notice any performance problems on your golf cart, the easiest thing to check is the water levels get lead acid batteries. Check them every week. And then if you have the Trojans, which are the best golf cart batteries, there's no debate about this, they are the best. Get the Trojan Hydro System for your batteries and just add water on a regular basis. All right, so I'm gonna go here. And there's the Gulf of Mexico.
that's literally the Gulf of Mexico. Like, that's literally it. <laughs> if I go far enough west and that water, I'm in Mexico. But we have this nice little spot in our neighborhood where they allow us to hang out and watch the sunsets. You can see right here. Beautiful day. Oh, the boat! Nice boat.